Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is my compressor. Oops. Um, let's move that around the back there a minute. Now, uh, toolkit, sorry about the light that way, it's just a heater to try and keep me warm. I uh, can't remember the brand of this thing. OSL. CSL. But uh, something like that. TUV, 92 decibels. Never used one of these things before. So what I need to do is sort that out there. I've never used one of these. There's a, this, this wire going in the bottom is a little bit on the loose side and I can see the, um, the wires on the inside of the sheath and that's broken. Uh, I don't know if it's going to really affect how much things, it doesn't actually go down to zero. So I don't know if that. Oh, I don't know if that's actually anything to do with when it's got compression. But what I'm going to do is set the camera up and try and film this and get it fixed up and test it. Now I do apologise about the low light levels. It's not fantastic. I bought the um, the air compressor kit from I think it's Aldi 12 quid yeah Aldi it's got all the bits with it it's got the coily hose and a couple of a number of different fittings so I'm going to try that hopefully it works um, this here that's not a 17 it's a 16 I tried it earlier on so yeah hopefully this will come undone but I don't know if I need PTFE tape it's one thing I don't have unfortunately but if I can get the new hose on there, test it, if it does leak, I'll buy some PTFE. So, oh, that came undone quite quite easily. Can't see any PTFE tape, that just looks bone dry. <sighs> yeah, totally bone dry. The white marker with the numbers in says bar and the lower one is PSI. So if I turn it round that way, that's the, oh, where's the pointer? Yeah, that'll see, when I do it that way, it seems like I'm tightening it. Um, push to, that say on there. I can't suck. Push to lock. Ah, okay. So you lift it back up to unlock it. So plus is that way, minus is that way. So what I'm going to do, there is a marker there as well. It's a paint marker. Don't know why that's there. Maybe because it's not working properly. I don't know. Um. I am going to place it on bar 5, so that is what, actually hang on, to figure this out, <laughs> oh yeah that's, that is very broken that thing, uh, let's put it on 3, okay so let's uh, change angle so we can see um, actually no I don't need to change angle at all do I really not technically okay so we've got all the fittings in the bag actually whatever press compression this thing states I can always check it on here possibly could be wrong probably am Right, so this, hang on, ah, there could be something I'm missing here completely. Right, there are fittings in here, but these are, oh, I don't know. They're not like that. 
at all. Right. Let's get some of these out and have a look because they're brass fittings so right, that's the things for like footballs and such. No idea on that one. Right, these are fittings that plug into stuff. There's nothing that goes on there. That's random. Well, that stopped me dead in my tracks. There is nothing on... You're right, that end is where you plug all your fittings there and that end is supposed to connect to the compressor but that is a push fit all right okay what's going on here so can i remove that can i undo it no damn it so do i need to unbolt and take this off and take it to a shop and then find out what kind of fitting goes on here. I mean, I can't use this, or can I? It does turn, it rotates. That's not good. How am I supposed to do this? Hmm. I think I'm going to have to go to a parts shop like um, Machine Mart or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's plug this thing in and make sure it works anyway. So, this bloody thing scared the life out of me. It certainly did. Okay, it does work. Uh, scared the crap out of me just now. Um, I kept on pushing this button down. No, no, no. There we go. So it's built up just over 10 bar and then you can use that. I'm going to re try and replace this because this whole unit can be unbolted and removed. So when I turn this lever, this handle it is a bit stiff on mind you. There you go, it releases all its air. So yeah, it does work. I just can't attach anything. Uh, right, okay. So I just had sorry about move the camera then um just had to go to a um machine mart and buy an adapter this one so this screws on to that pipe there uh in replace of the old one which you saw before so i'm just going to check the thread yep that's good and see if just see by luck no it's not a 16 and it's bigger than a 17 so I will need to go in the toolbox shortly but one thing I thought I would do just take my gloves off a minute uh, is get some PTFE tape which I mentioned before which wasn't on there so let's get some of that on I was going to end recording earlier on and I thought no I'll uh I'll get some PTFE tape and the adapter because I didn't really want to leave the video unfinished. And I've got two rolls of uh, PTFE tape. I'm sure it will come in handy. I remember using this years ago. So hold it on, push it into the thread and wrap it round a few times. That should do it, and then just rip it. So squeeze it in. Hopefully, not on, nothing will go around the uh, and the gap, and then obviously it goes back in its little pot. Clever little things, these. Right, just going to get 
uh, the right spanner. No, it's not an 18. Come on, ah, just fits a 19 mil. Okay, so let's get that on, get this on here. I was told down at Machine Mart that, uh, oh, that's not good. Um, I can replace the, the gauge, so that's good. Okay, I'll take that edge bit off. Okay. Am I going to get this thread on there? Yeah, the chap who I spoke to, he said that uh, apparently this fitting is called USB. It's the weirdest looking, looking universal serial bus I've ever seen. That's literally going over the top of the uh, PTFE. I don't know if I need more, would I? Okay, that's... Okay, so that's that's pretty tight. Right, let's get that wheel and the adapter thing to go onto here because I got this wrong just now. <laughs> um, that is not the end that goes on the um, compressor. That end does, and the fittings go here. Okay, so yeah, um, it's all connected. And it's not working. Welcome back to the video. This one's taking quite some time. Now, I brought the compressor into the house, so I don't have to constantly walk outside and get cold and in the shed not see what I'm doing and things are going to be wet, which they seem to be right now. Anyway, I uh, put up the workbench. Now I take, took off the old uh, gauge and there's the new one in here. Now. As before, when I was setting this thing up and it would compress the air inside it and then I'd open the valve and nothing would happen sometimes and then sometimes it would. So I don't know what's going to happen if I pull this thing and air starts coming out of here. No idea. Don't know. So um, what I'm going to do is see if it does. Now because I need to try and work backwards, if that makes any sense to anyone, I've already checked this and I don't know if you can see through there, there we go, that's clear, so that, that's fine, there's nothing wrong with this, so that, that device is working, so why the air isn't coming through I don't know, it could be an issue with the hose, maybe the hose isn't letting the air through, maybe there could be a blockage of some kind, and I don't know if I can breathe through it, so I might try that in a minute, but anyway, I'm going to try and fire this thing up. I have turned it on the wall and see if air comes out of here. It may come out of both of these but this is not fully tight either because I did a, I did kind of undo this as well trying to find what could be the issue. So let's give this a whirl shall we? Air is coming out of here but it's not coming out of here. So what I'm going to do, there we go, brand new, we'll 
without focus, there we go. It's much more detailed, it's got much more more numbers and everything around here and it's a that's a 14 mil just in case anyone out there is interested so what I'm going to do I probably should use a little bit of um, tape on this but temporarily I'm just going to put this in once it all does start working properly that is what I will do Tighten this up so it's straight and it's tight enough and that I can see the numbers. Hmm. Well, that is tight enough, but I think when I get the tape, uh, I forgot what it's called already. I'll put a description on the screen of what it, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll leave that as it is for a moment and I'll fire this up again. I think if I've got a... This here is kind of like a little bit um, confusing in a way, but what I'm going to do is turn it up to... eighty. Which doesn't go down to exactly eighty. Or does it? I don't know. Yeah, it kind of like doesn't... Yeah, it's bang on 80 there. Some of these micro markings, these tinier markings, you can't get exactly on them. Right, okay, so... It would be useful if I, if I tightened up the screw on the side, wouldn't it? That would help. Oh, that thing makes me jump. Every time it makes me jump. Okay. Now you would think that without this here to release the air, this would be going So, I think that could be the problem. Unless you've just got to pull that up. So, this thing is not the easiest to manipulate. It is, this lever is very stiff. Had to use mole grips to try and really turn it, disconnect it from here. So what I'm going to do, no, this looks messy, I know. Right, let's lift that and then turn this because that's what my brain is thinking. No. Is it that? No. Because sometimes it will release air. And it's not doing it now. There's a valve on the bottom here. I can't think to the, for the life of me what Okay, so it has compressed air inside it and it won't release. So 
this is very confusing. Right, well, um, I've had a look in the end of here and it's very dry and it, the valve is closed. Now, I've looked under here and it's shaped like a, um, for a spanner, but it's very, it's a large size, so I'm having to use like a mole grips or something or a monkey wrench just so I can get wide enough or even a something like a plumber's wrench uh, to get this undone even though it's very very narrow uh, I'm going to try and get that off have a look inside it uh, because there's nothing basically to stop the air from coming out but this so I've got a sneaking suspicion that is at fault because that's working that's working but is this because when I as you saw before when I fired this thing up, air was coming out the front valve, or the hole. Uh, nothing was coming out of this side, so, because this is supposed to stop the air, isn't it? I need to get this thing working. Uh, there's nothing technically wrong with it. I think, I think it's this that's at fault. It could be the brass fittings in here that are just dry and they, because they've not been used. But yeah, please feel free to put something in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll try and get this thing going. Thank you very much for watching. Feel, feel free to like check out the other videos and such. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later.